Hello everyone, welcome to TechTood. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, it is given that consider the following relational instance. So instance, it's not a database and it's a snapshot of database, right? Now, and it's a snapshot of basically database table. And which of the following functional dependency will not? So not you have to always take care of this, okay? So it may be confusing if you don't con uh, concentrate on this not you may uh, think that it is asking for which of the following uh, functional dependency is correct and that's why you may go wrong so you have to be careful fine now which is not holding fine so let's start with first one we have a determines b okay so what is the condition to be a functional dependency so the very simple condition is that this can be many to one but it cannot be one to many okay what I mean to say here is two values, two different values of A that is A1 and A2 can determine same values of B that is B1 okay but this A1 cannot determine two different values of B that is maybe B1 or B2 okay so here what we need to find out is I mean our approach will be negative to solve this problem we will try to discard this functional dependency okay so first of all what we will do uh, a determines B so we will say see whether it holds or not so here for a1 we have two value of a a1 and a2 so this a1 should not be corresponding with two different values of B right so if it is a1 it is b1 here the next should also be b1 so see here also it is b1 so it is holding now for a2 if you see this a2 is have uh, this a2 is corresponding to value b1 so next a2 if exist it should also correspond to b1 so see this is a2 and it is also corresponding to b1 right so this is also holding so this is holding this is correct but it is not our correct option we are looking for a functional dependency which is not holding right similarly let's go for d determines a b d okay so this is correct but not our option fine not our answer now d determines a b d so this is d we are saying that d determines a b c fine so you, we need not to check if this d value is throughout unique <clears throat> see this d value is d1 d2 d3 d4 so if it is unique for all tuples obviously it this functional dependency will hold right it can act as a candidate key so this is correct so this is not our answer now let's <coughs> go for d determines b here also in this case d is determining some something and as we already know it is a candidate key so this will hold right so this is not our answer now remaining one will be our answer but let's go for it and check it so d determines d uh, sorry c determines d so c determines d now corresponding to 2c we have to find out I mean corresponding to same value of c this one and this one we have to find out if there exist two different value of d right so c c1 corresponds to d1 and d3 so this is the case right this is the case here c1 corresponds to two different values that is d1 and d3 okay so this is not holding and this is our answer